Adam in Kent, England writes to me, Hey Paul, when comparing high res and DVD audio to CDs, I've heard only a relatively small improvement to the sound in general. And it's a feeling that the music is easier to listen to and a softer leading edge to sounds, which is more relaxing. But it certainly has not knocked my socks off. Okay. However, when I have compared CDs to HD CDs, the difference is significantly greater, creating a much better feeling of real life with better spatial information, and it's particularly noticeable. I understand that this is an older, and from what I can gather, largely abandoned kind of technology nowadays. But my question is this, is there still a way that the HD CD technology could still be implemented? if not for making spinning discs and perhaps for digital downloads. Could Octave Records recordings potentially benefit from something like this? Well, um, I, ah, boy, that's a tough one. HDCD, boy, that's a really old technology. It was actually uh, invented or, or, or I think it was the guys over uh, at, at Reference Recordings. Um, Keith Johnson, um, David Fletcher, and the guys over at Soda, all, all kind of gone now. But way back when, we were stuck with only 16 bits of dynamic range. And the folks at Reference Recordings made these incredibly dynamic recordings, still do. I mean, that, that's one of my favorite labels. And, you know, at, at Octave Records, we are in complete admiration of so many of the reference recordings uh, out there. I mean, it's kind of our, one of our models for like, God, you know, we want to be like those guys and really keep those standards high in terms of dynamic range. And in order to do that, another, uh, eight, you know, 18 bits worth of 16 bits would be another 6 dB of dynamic range, which is a pretty big deal. So what they did, which was is kind of interesting, they took that last 16th bit, which is called the least significant bit, and it doesn't have a whole lot of significance, obviously by its name, and they used that instead as a toggle to click in more dynamic range than you would have gotten if you had just left it at 16 giving it a quasi 18 to 20 bit dynamic range. It, that's what it kind of sounds like. And they sold that to Microsoft, that whole HDCD thing for quite a bit of money. But it had no impact or change on high frequencies, on you know uh, anything really to do with sound quality other than that increase in dynamic range. But what you'll find is that the people who use HDCD, for example, reference recordings, and uh, a lot of the Japanese labels that have some excellent recordings, they used HDCD a lot. And I think what you're hearing is that those are simply better recordings. And that would be my, my guess, because that extra bit of dynamic range, we have so much gone beyond that point that I don't think it would be of much value. If you take an Octave Records CD, which is still only 44-1, 16 bits, and give it a listen, I think you'll find that it just blows the socks off of pretty much anything else you've ever tried. And I would encourage you to do that. And that's not because we use anything fancy in terms of the CD, but it's because we use DSD, the best equipment in the world, and the best practices in the world for making recordings, and that's our shtick at Octave Records. So I think what you're going to find is uh, astounding sounding recordings on actual just good old CDs. So hope that helps answer your question. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.